All right. <sighs> what are we on? Two weeks? Three weeks now? Three. Three? Three weeks. <clears throat> and we are in Madison, Wisconsin. Well. For the next couple of minutes. <laughs> it's like 2, I think 15 when we're recording this. And we have to be out of here by 3. Yeah. 3 p.m. checkout. <clears throat> so we have most everything kind of picked up, but we still got to pull stuff in and unplug. So we got to roll. Yeah. But it's been a good two weeks. Yeah. So Corey chipped his tooth. Yeah. So I was eating popcorn and I felt uh, something a little hard. And I was like, wait, I didn't grab a car. Aww. So years ago, I chipped my tooth on a story that's for a different video on a different day. And uh, it was only supposed to last two years. It lasted 14 and it chipped while we were in Portage. Um, woke up the next morning, called some dentists, got an appointment, and they got me in and out. Um, yeah, it was a lot less scary to get an appointment <laughs> in a different state, in a different city than I thought it would be. Yeah, I was a little worried at first, but yeah, yeah. They, they were really great and it wasn't actually as expensive as I thought it was. No, we were expecting probably like a couple hundred dollars to get it done. Out of pocket. Out of pocket, and it was like 80 bucks. It was $81 after all my insurance and stuff processed, so. Yeah. Insurance so, was kind of nice in that aspect, for sure. So a lot <clears throat> of people, they they tell me, you know, well, have fun, and, and we are. We're having a lot of fun. Mm -hmm. um, but they, they tell us in a way that... Um, uh, like we're on a perpetual vacation with nothing else to do. And that's not necessarily what's going on. Um, <clears throat> so this last two weeks, um, I had a project that I was working on, schoolwork, and um, my job for McMahon Marketing. And so all of these deadlines kind of converged onto one day. And I had about three all-nighters last week. Yeah. So they all kind of converged on one day. And I had to sit out here in the front of the RV while Corey was sleeping, while the dog was trying to sleep, so I could get my homework done and get my projects done and get in all of my work for a big man. And it was really tough. I mean, it was a few really busy days. So Yeah, I and during that time, I was doing homework too because all of our due dates were on the same day. And I still have my normal, I say eight to five, it's more like nine to six, but I still have my job that I'm doing too every day. Yeah, so we, I mean, we do a lot of work on the road, um, just like we would if we were still back in Oklahoma. So I appreciate the have funds because I think everybody should have fun in life. Uh, but I just, I found it interesting that there is this like misconception of, of that we're just, you know, out. Uh, out on vacation. Vacation. And it kind of feels like a vacation, but I feel like my life is just this fun adventure, which is why we got into RVing in the first place. Indeed. Um, but yeah, so today, uh, today's actually been a busy day. We woke up early this morning and uh, went for a walk with uh, friends Holly and Preston and then their, their dog, JP. And then we went to downtown Madison, like at the Capitol, they have a humongous farmer's market. It was absolutely massive it was packed with people and there's just so much stuff it was so awesome and I, I honestly wish that we had more time to just go and enjoy the farmers market there's a lot there yeah um, from there we went straight to a brewery in new new glad new Glaus? Gladys new I, don't, I don't actually know I don't remember me either this is a whole Oscar Kotusa all over again. <laughs> <laughs> um, um, yeah, so uh, it was beautiful. Picture, it was picturesque. It looked great. In fact, I mean, I got I got a whole bunch of pictures, a whole bunch of video because it was just awesome. It was oh, mm. the whole town is very German, which mm -hmm. was interesting. Yeah. So um, and thinking that since this is, might be uh, Oktoberfest weekend, the place was packed. And as we were like leaving, it was filling up even more so it was it was pretty crazy it was awesome so a big part of what we're doing is having a lot of time to spend with friends and family that we otherwise wouldn't see so last night um i went to downtown madison with holly and we rode bicycles and we made cupcakes and there was a fireworks show it was like crazy awesome night that we got to have together um Another opportunity that I got to take since we've been RVing is I went to go see Pat Flynn 
who is a fellow podcaster, actually somebody who I look up to a lot in the industry. And so it was really cool to go meet him and have some conversations. Uh, definitely things I wouldn't have got to do uh, if, if we, were we in weren't. Oklahoma. Yeah, if we were in Oklahoma and if I weren't RVing. So. Yeah, it was a uh, it was an all day drive for you, but totally worth it. Um, weirdest fact for Wisconsin mm -hmm. is that the state capitol has to be the tallest building in the entire city. And that's just really funny uh, to me, but it is the tallest building in the entire you city. You can actually see it from where we're parked. Yeah, and it's not like a crazy tall capital building either. So yeah. all the, the there are no skyscrapers in Madison because uh, it's illegal to be any taller than the state capital. And I thought that was that was kind of funny. So, so one thing that when we first set off. I was wondering like, oh, what, what do I need? What are the essentials that I need? And everyone was saying, just buy a few things, but pick up stuff as you go. Well, this week we needed an extra long water hose because we were starting to run out of water in our RV. So we went down to a, a local, uh, local store and picked up a hundred foot hose just so we could get that extra, extra length so we could put water in the tank. Uh, and hook it up to our uh, freshwater hose and all the filters yeah, and so stuff. Yeah, so the park we're at has spigots for you to fill up your freshwater tank, but not every spot has its own spigot. So we were either, we either had to get a longer hose to reach the spigot that's closest to us, or we had to move the RV. We chose to buy a longer hose. 20 bucks. Well worth well it. Well invested. Yeah. <laughs> um, and finally, uh, Wisconsin has these disgusting bugs. They're like Beatles. boxer elder bugs. I'm actually looking at one right now crawling across our chair. They will find a way in no matter what. And they're gross. They are coating the, the entire side. side of... Ugh, ugh. There is just crawling with them. I hate so. them. I hate them so much. <laughs> so... That is the worst thing about RVing. That's the worst thing Madison. about Madison. Madison, Wisconsin. You 10 out of 10 never coming back because of those. <laughs> <spots>. <laughs> no, this is actually one of my favorite towns I've been in. It might be Holly. I'm not sure, but we really enjoyed it.